Almost, goddamn, that's a long time. It's crazy. <laughs> Almost half a century I've been writing songs, and yet I do not have any idea how it works. I mean, I've, I've, I know the technical part, I'm, I know the technical skill shit about how to write a song, but as far as that other thing, the thing that actually makes it good, I don't have any understanding of it. I'm just kind of thankful that it still happens. And um, <laughs> last year when our entire year and a half tour got canceled, I was rather unhappy. And, uh, and so I told myself, well, you'll write a bunch of songs. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. <laughs> Maybe off for three or four months, you'll write a lot of songs. <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, you know, it didn't really work out that way. I wrote a wrote a bunch right at the very beginning, and then I just got like fucking depressed as shit, and uh, started wondering if I'd ever get to see all of y'all again. And uh, and uh, your brain can do all kinds of tricks on you when you're stuck at home for way too long. And, uh, and that happened. And so, uh, but at some point, you know, I don't know, but around the holidays, the floodgates started opening and I started feeling hope again. And I started feeling like maybe I'll get to see all my friends out there again and we'll get to do this thing that we do again. And then I started writing songs. And uh, I wrote this next one I'm gonna do for you. And uh, it just seemed special to me. There was something about it that, that just, uh, it just spoke to me and I was really happy about it. But at the same time, I had no idea anything about what it actually, what caused it to happen. And uh, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's just, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I played it for my wife and uh, Rebecca and I played it for her and she's like, she kind of looked at me funny, she goes, is that about me? <laughs> <laughs> no, honey, it's not about you, I promise. And it's not, and, and she's like, I'm so glad, but you know, I don't really know what it means, but I think it's kind of beautiful, and I kind of really like it, especially now that you told me it's not about me. And, um, and so I play for people, and different people ask me, you know, what, where did that come from? I don't know, it just, you know, it's just what it is, and it's, it's a song, and I'm, I'm proud of it, but I don't know, have any idea. And so the other night I was playing one of these shows. It was when I first, it was like a few days ago, and I was in the middle of playing the song, and it just occurred to me. It's like the song was inspired by Jimmy C. And, uh, yeah. and the ones clapping knew Jimmy C. Jimmy C was like, yeah, he could have very easily been here tonight. I mean, he's just one of those guys. He, he came to a lot of shows, and over the course of the years that he came to shows, we got to know each other, we became really close friends. He became like family, and I love Jimmy C. And, uh, and Jimmy C passed away very unexpectedly back in the fall, and I was in too weird a place to even process it. I just kind of shut down about it for a while. And it occurred to me playing the song that this song is Jimmy C's song. So I'm gonna dedicate it for him because I know he's up there listening. So this goes out to Jimmy C. Right? Yeah. It's called Shake and Pine. Just to stay. 
Reaching for the stars, but only catching the 